My name is Nadia Sablin, and I'm a second year photography graduate student. The whole project kind of focuses on growth, and what they have focused primarily on in the past is how Phoenix was expanding. And just recently, starting in 2007, the growth kind of came back on us, and it resulted in the foreclosure crisis. That was an interesting topic for me to explore, to see how the people that live here reacted to it and how they were going through it. This is Kathy and Walter in front of their home. They have now foreclosed on the home and no longer live there. Kathy was very welcoming. She immediately welcomed us into her home, introduced us to all of her family. She cooked for us. She wanted us to come over and just have lunch sometimes. She had lost her job partly because light rail was being built where she had her business, so nobody was able to access her business. Kathy's so close with her family. Both of her daughters went through health problems in the preceding year. Mika had cancer, and Jackie had some kind of digestive problems. That was partly the reason why the foreclosure had to go through, because there was just no money for the entire family. There's a lot of gatherings that happened at Kathy's house. All her family would show up. This is Jackie with her husband. There's always somebody over. It was full of people, full of life. The home in the last months before the foreclosure had become a sort of prison for them. They just wanted it to be over with. One of the houses that I photographed was a short sale home. Um, the family no longer lived there. But what remained of them spoke about who they had been and what their life had been like. It was so amazing how you could walk through this house, almost like an archaeological site, and try to guess what had happened. Christmas tree left behind. I mean, who leaves a Christmas tree? But then you think how they must have felt that they didn't want that anymore. You wonder, did they lose faith in the end, or did they keep hoping? I walked into the shed in front of the pool, and I saw this nest of wasps building a home on the ground of a home that was already lost. And you start to wonder, what happens if all these homes stood empty for a long time? Will desert just come in and take over that space? Will they just collapse, or will somebody come in and make them new again?